Hey you guys, it's Megan. So as you guys probably know, um, I have been trying to organize different parts of my room and I just finished me and my sister's bathroom yesterday. And today I'm going to start on a really exciting part of my room and I'm going to do my makeup collection. And um, I'm just going to go through, reorganize things, and also pull out things that I haven't been using, either to give them to my sister, my mom, my friends, anything like that, or um, just to remind myself to use them. So I have some drawers that are pretty much organized and good, but then I have been just being really lazy and just like throwing stuff in. So I really need to just organize everything again. And um, I did my first drawer a while ago when I did my vanity. So this drawer is good and I'm really content with it. I'm going to also do the top of my um, makeup unit. So this is what I have. It's nine drawers, I believe. And I'm not sure if I'm going to get to it all today, but um, I'm just going to see how much I can get done. And hopefully this inspires you guys. I know that I've been getting such good feedback on all of my um, bedroom overhaul and bathroom overhaul videos, which makes me really happy because I was inspired to do this by Organized Like Jen, and it's really cool that I can inspire you guys as well. So um, let me know if you guys are organizing anything, and um, hopefully we can get through this together because... It's something I think we all need to do because it just helps us remember what we have and since I'm going to do like a no buy and try to use things that I haven't been using, this will remind me of the things that I have. So I'm really excited about this part of my organization and I hope you guys enjoy so let's just jump right in.
here's the damage. This is all the stuff that I'm going to be getting rid of. And most of it I'm probably going to pass on to my sister or my mom or anyone. Um, just a few things that I wanted to talk about specifically. I'm getting rid of a lot of my black eyeliners. These are all ones that are kind of hard to work with. They tug on my eyes and they're just not worth it to me. So um, the brands are Josie Marin, um, Lancome Cargo, Tarte, and Victoria's Secret. So those are just going to be thrown out. Um, and then my gel liners. I have Physician's Formula Essence and Maybelline. I've had these for all way too long and they're basically dried out. I don't use them enough to make it worth it. So I just freed up some space in my um, cream shadow drawers. So I'll show you guys that in a second, but I'm just going to get rid of those. This is something that's really hard for me to part with. This is a Barbie Love Stila palette and it's cool because like the front, it's like this holographic thing. This was one of the first pieces of makeup I have really got. Um, this is Kitten over here and hopefully you can tell it, it has a big dip in it. I used to do so many colorful eyeshadow looks and I used to always do this um, silver smoky eye with the silver and then this color in the middle that has a big dip in it. I love this palette but I never ever use it and it's it's so old and the only reason I'm keeping it is because it just means a lot to me. I might actually put it up here on my little decoration thing that I need to redo. So I'm going to hold on to it, but I'm just going to put it um, for a display item instead of in my makeup collection. So that I'm just going to set aside. And then there's a lot of eyeshadows, eyeshadow palettes that I just never reach for. So I'm going to see if my sister or my mom wants them. Lip products. I have tons of these types of colors. I realize I never use lip liner, so I'm just going to get rid of those instead of forcing myself to use them. Um, this Physicians Formula Bronzer, I never really use it. I'm going to see if my sister wants it because it's really light. It's um, the Happy Booster in Bronze Slash Rose. It's a really nice um, compact, but I just never reach for it with all the other bronzers I have. Um, I would never buy this again, not because it's a bad product, but because I realize I never use like cream products. This is the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzer Cream in St. Lucia. And I used it a few times as I dig my finger into it. Um, nice colors. The bronzer is kind of orangey. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> but I realize that I just never reach for this. I've had this for a while and cream products I should probably get rid of so getting rid of that and then um I'm, oh no I'm parting ways with these two cream blushes as well Revlon Photo Ready and Coral Reef and my Afterglow Cheek Tint and Quickie I love both of these products um they're just really old and I never really use them so I'm just gonna get rid of those and then there's a few other products what is this that fell Oh, baked blush from e.l.f. I never really use those, so I'm just going to get rid of them. So, I'm just going to do an overview. First, I picked out all of my samples from my drawers, and um, I put them in this little basket, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to work through these in the coming weeks, and um, hopefully then I won't have any left. So, I just put them all in here instead of being in my makeup drawers, because I never ever reach for samples in my makeup drawer I realized so um I just put them here and then with some other smaller products that I'm trying to use up so starting on the top of my makeup drawer system I kept it pretty much the same I just cleared off this front area that was all cluttered and I have my deodorant and my um, daytime skincare as well as some hair um, products like my dry shampoo and oils and stuff I don't really use the oils but I do like to keep them um, in the event that I want them and then I put my little um, notebooks for you two back here so they're out of the way but still really accessible so I like this setup a lot. And then starting in my face, um, like foundation and bronzer drawer, I kept all the same things in here. I just moved them around a bit. So I put my um, 
my foundations here. So I have my Bourjois, my um, Wet n Wild, and L'Oreal Magic Nude, and then I put my Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Concealer in here. So these are all like, like, not full coverage, but they're not like tinted moisturizers or BB creams. I put all my um, BB creams back here in this corner. So it's in the same drawer, just separated, and then I put two concealers, the CoverGirl and Olay, and then my Collection 2000. So it's like separating the different types of face products, which I think will work well for me. Then I have my bronzers in here, which I went through them and got rid of a few, um, but mostly I kept them all, and I like this organization setup. That's what I had before. And then in this section, I have my um, Rachel K primer, which is the only primer I really want to have, and then I have powders. So, um, my Physician's Formula, and then some setting powders. So, that I'm happy with. Then the next drawer is blush, and I had to really condense my blush collection, and what I tried to do was move all of this up, because before, I had this piece pushed back, and I couldn't see my MAC blushes in the back, and the Azalea Blossom blush is one I want to remember that I have. So um, I kept this pretty much the same, I just removed some. So in this organizer, I have um, my Maybelline, my baked blushes basically in the front, and then I have pink and one orange blush on the side. In the middle I have all of my MAC, and I love the amount that I have because I can see all of the colors very easily, so I love that. Then on the left I have a Tarte um, cheek stain and then more neutral toned blushes on the right side. Um, I have my Dior Rosy Glow here and then um, in this little quadrant thing I have my smaller blushes so ranging from Tarte to Rimmel, NYX, um, just smaller blushes. And then in this um, thing back here I have all of my highlights so I have my uh, powder highlights here, and then my cream highlights on this side. So, whoa. This is basically the system I had before. I was just like tossing them in with no care in the world, and now they're reorganized, and I think this is a great system for me. So I'm really happy with this drawer. I can see basically everything except for the one highlight back there, but I know it's the Revlon, so really happy with that. Cream, eyeshadow drawer, and eyeliner. I love this drawer. I basically kept everything the same. Um, I just moved all of my liquid liners here. Like, I didn't have the black one. I had just the colored ones. So that is the same. Basically, everything is the same, except for that I got rid of some of those gel liners. And I'm definitely going to do a, like, different cream shadow every day, because as you can see, I have tons here. I have all these stick ones. And I just want to play around with them and just get use out of them. So I have all my black and brown liners here, colored liners there, gel liners here, you know, typical. So that's that drawer. Eyeshadow drawer. First of many eyeshadow drawers, I should say. So this stayed pretty much the same. I have all of my eye studio quads on both of these sides and then my infallibles in the middle. Um, I have my MUA palettes here, which I love this setup. And then I have Rimmel and um, Revlon here, and then NARS, and two um, L'Oreal, what are they called, um, Project Runway palettes. I got rid of one, even though it pains me to get rid of it, because I never use those colors. But these, I have one neutral palette, and then a really fun color palette, so I thought I would keep those. And then in the front, I have my Wet n Wild trios in these two sections, and then some of my higher-end singles. So I have Laura Mercier, Burberry, NARS, and Urban Decay, and then the little Burberry pouches there. So that's pretty much the same, just a little bit more organized. This eyeshadow drawer is completely different. I decided to put my Fear and A eyeshadows in this little trio, of organizer thingies. So I have a perfect amount to put in here. So these are all organized. Then I put all of my single shadows just out. Because for me personally, I will reach for things if I can see it. Like this, I think I'll reach for my single eyeshadows much more. Because they used to be in like more um, 
like more like these type things. All of them were sort of horizontal or vertical, I mean, and I couldn't really tell what everything was. So I think this will work better for me. Then I have my MAC and Inglot palette back there and my Laura Mercier travel palette. So this, I hope, will get a lot more use, these shadows. Then my palette drawer, I had to <laughs> reorganize this a lot. Um, so I just have all my palettes in here. I really need to get more use out of these palettes. Um, these ones I don't really reach for a lot, so I'm going to try to use these more. Lip drawer, I kept pretty much the same. Um, I have it nudes, pinks, oranges. Dark colors are back here, which obviously I don't need right now. Let me zoom in. Um, and then I have my OCC lip tars in this small thing. So I just got rid of some but the organization is exactly the same and I really like it that way. This drawer is lush and my clipless curling iron and back to Mac all the same. And then my final drawer is my backup drawer and I basically kept it exactly the same. I just put um, some more of my lip products that were over here. I put them in this basket and now we're good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm really happy that I went through it. It's it's been long overdue that I do this, and um, I'm really happy that I reorganized everything. I had a good system before, but now I feel better that everything is freshly organized, and I got rid of a good deal of stuff, so I'm really happy about that. It's things that I rarely slash never reach for, and so hopefully someone I know can get um, more use out of them than I did. So um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. This is my favorite part of my organizational video so far, and um, I will definitely continue to do more parts of my bedroom as um, the days progress, and I hope that you have a really great day. Happy organizing. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you really soon. Bye!